That'll be fun. Okay, so episode one is who we are. Uh, what are we doing? We can just start with number one is uh, state your name, occupation, and years in the business. Bill Lathrop, mortgage lender. Yeah, I've been in business here since 1987. I completed 36 years starting my 37th. It's been great. And I, I got to say, I mean, I've been from bank, banking side to independent side to back to banking and with all the changes in the economy and in our industry that have happened here more recently, it's really nice to be with an independent non-bank entity that's local to the Northwest and they're transparent, offer us all kinds of products that can really help clients get there and an operation system that's second to none at, that I've experienced this year. Okay, so 36 years, so how did you build your career and what's the most fun thing for you over that uh, three decades, almost four, well, three and a half decades? Yeah, I learned, I learned the industry um, in the banking side and I was, but what gave my interest to it is I worked for a builder developer in Colorado for four years on site sales and worked with mortgage brokers and it was a great experience. We, we had to qualify the clients, do all the paperwork and so it was a really good learning tool. So we knew what need, needed to take for somebody to buy a home. And then when I came back to Washington, which was a great move, um, and I'm not, I'll never leave again, um, but it, it was nice because I jumped into a, a local bank and learned the industry and then grew from there. And opportunities came to emerge into the independent side, which was a great experience because you realize there's a lot of different ways to uh, achieve in this industry. Well, my name is Jeff Lathrop. I'm also in the mortgage industry. It's kind of part of why we're doing this together. Um, it's been since 2010, so almost 13 years now, or going on my 14th year. And originally started working at a bank, same kind of path as you. Um, independent mortgage companies, then back to a bank, then have stuck with independent mortgage companies ever since, which is probably another episode, uh, but have really enjoyed the fact that the main part of this job is talking to actual real people, like an end, end, the end person, you know, just a regular human person that exists that does a different job. It's not full of, I mean, we talk to our coworkers all the time, but they feel more like peers or friends or people are, we're all like doing a project together. So I don't really feel like I have coworkers in that sense. And I always get to talk to um, real people, which is pretty fun. And the most, uh, the things I guess that I am looking forward to here the next couple of years is just getting to work in a team environment. I'm excited to kind of focus on the Olympia area and just, you know, help educate people, help them know what to expect in the process. Uh, and that's that. Cool. Uh, okay, so over the past, let's say, decade, because 36 years is too long, what have you enjoyed doing in the Northwest that keeps you here? and unrelated to work, or maybe related to work, but what do you get out of life that keeps you going? Um, well, enjoy the Northwest for all the water that's out here. Um, try to get out, uh, living on a lake has been a, a gift, and to enjoy that and watch my kids grow up on it, obviously. And like today, it's a beautiful day in the Northwest, and, and I'm driving in a convertible where I'm more worried about sunblock than I am interest rates. But um, it's just nice, and it's, it, we don't have any crazy, knock on wood, weather. It's pretty, and, or any crazy craters out here that you're afraid of. Um, so it's, it's kind of a nice environment. Um, if you like the water, you like to hike, you like to do all those kinds of things, which I enjoy to do, and I, I love to play golf when I get the time, and great golf courses out here. And so, yeah, that's basically what keeps me here, and I, I've been married for going on our 43rd year, and... Uh, she grew up, we both grew up in the Northwest, so that's been awesome. I feel the same way. I'm probably here mostly for geographic reasons. I just, I love the scenery. And of the limited traveling that I have done, I really love coming back to a wooded tree area. I, I prefer the forest versus the ocean, but having both here is awesome. And then access to the city. So Olympia kind of is a sweet spot of, you know, I think when you go further south from Olympia, stuff starts to get a little more rural and spread out. You go much, no, much more north from Olympia, it gets a little more too suburban or urban um, and a little dense. So we're right, you know, kind of on that line right now as we continue to grow, but I think there's still some great opportunities down here and some great, uh, you know, recreational uh, opportunities.
Okay, so what else do you want to talk about? Well, well I just think it's a, it's a kind of, you know, it's been a unique year in this business, and it's going to continue to do so. You and I are both victims of companies that change their minds to uh, close their doors and, and move on due to the questionable economy. And it's nice to be the company that's got a different perspective. So with that, you know, I love working in the Northwest because we can lend in whatever states we want to get licensed in. And uh, with a lot of people moving out of the Northwest, that's a, that's a key piece. And I enjoy that because it's great. And our industry's changed so much in the last, I would say, two to three years because of COVID, where we all worked from home, and now it's back more of a hybrid level. I don't think, I don't know if anybody's at the office 100%, but uh, it's much more, um, especially working with a great branch. You got people, the interaction, the camaraderie is, is great, and just to bounce questions off one another. So I, I really like that. And now the fact that you're on this team is, it's kind of a, it's a special moment because it's the first time that I'm not managing and I'm not your boss, so it, we're a team and it, in the real sense of the word. And so I'm really looking forward to these opportunities. Yeah, I'm, I can uh, echo that sentiment that I'm pretty excited for the team aspect. And then having a local team that I can talk to, it was really hard. Where I previously came from, we had a great team, uh, really amazing individuals, good humans, as they would say. And I, I missed them because it was mostly remote. And for those people, that seems to work really great. And a lot of people thrive on that model. I, I was surprisingly uh, kind of unknown to myself that I was missing some of that interaction. And seeing people, you know, I was here on a holiday this past Monday, and one of our colleagues was locking in a couple loans. I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. Now I've kind of reminded me that I need to go and do that too and see who I can help and who's out there buying. Oh, cool. So if I'm at home on the holiday, I'm not going to see that, and I might just get a little too excited about relaxing. So kind of nice to have a more wider perspective, you know, versus just being at home all the time. And when I first started coming back to the office, it was a little, I was uncomfortable because I'm in control of keeping everything super quiet. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to kind of break your shell a little bit and get back in the world and be a human that has tolerance and um, just go out there and see if you can, you know, help anybody. I have enough experience now to where I'm, I don't really feel like I'm, previously maybe I had imposter syndrome or felt like I was faking it or something, or I know how to do this job, but I didn't feel like I was any smarter than any of my clients. Now, I still don't think I'm smarter than anybody, but I've been doing this for long enough to where I have some insight, and it's fun to share that and see if I can use it to help anybody. So that's kind of the idea going forward, and being around the right people uh, really helps it's like a motivation hack and a discipline hack. You, you have people around you that are working hard, you're just gonna work hard too. Yeah, those are all good points. I, I think one thing we're very fortunate about um, in this market right now is we've got real leadership at this company. I mean, they really give you opportunities and they truly try to build one relationship at a time with our, with our clients. And they really stand behind that. I mean, it's it's nice to be with a company that's for real, and the leadership, is they really want you to succeed. It's not about them doing so many loans. It's about you enjoying your life and having a good work-life balance, too. And it's, it's just a positive. And the other thing I've learned being here um, is the, the operations people are second to none. It doesn't matter how great of an LO you think you are or you might be. If your ops team is not solid, you cannot perform at your peak level. This op team is incredible, and everything's been, I've been, like I said, on my 37th year, I've never seen the, mar the people work the way they do here. And it gives you all the confidence to go out there knowing your clients are going to get taken care of. I'm, I'm excited for that. It's, it's pretty interesting that they're one of very few companies I know of that has a you know, close-on-time guarantee that the lender is offering. So it's their own put-your-money-where-your-mouth-is kind of thing on they're able to deliver their service. Now, you don't just get that for nothing. It's not issued with every pre-approval. Obviously, you have to get it qualified for that and go through the process. But I think that's pretty amazing that if you have taken your time up front, then you can offer something more than standard. I think it gives our, in this market, it, I keep saying in this market, it's such a unique thing this year. Uh, can't compare, people can say, yeah, the rates were higher back in 
the 80s, early 2000s, whatever, it doesn't make, it's not the same thing. It's a different market worldwide. And with that, you got to be on top of it. And this company does, like you mentioned, this program, they get you qualified. All pre-approvals are not equal. This one stands up, holds the water, gets the client. I've had it where it's gotten an offer accepted because of those details. They know, and they know that if they need to close on time, and there's other products they have that give us an edge for your clients in this market to compete. It's not all about rates. Rates are important, but it's about getting, getting the home, getting the offer accepted. And that's the challenge these days with the inventory and everything else. But um, it's nice to have those tools to work with. But yeah, you would say it's a lot harder to buy a house than it is to refinance a loan. Absolutely. It's, you can have the, as most people do in every lender, have your golden client that's awesome credit scores, awesome cash, awesome ratios, but they can't get their offer accepted. And you're, you know, some people took a year to find a house. The pandemic was, was crucial, uh, just crazy. And now that we're past that, and the government stopped buying the rates down to our, for our benefit, it's a challenge. But clients are still approved and still out there looking. And the inventory issue, it, you know, is a problem in the Northwest um, and in certain pockets of the country. But the values are not dropping in this market. Buyers are still active and they're, they just want to get a home because the importance of having a home is, is what, why we do this job. So let's just uh, talk a little bit about this past week. I know that you and I had a closing, which was pretty nice. Uh, good title company, good clients, good realtor, just a great experience all around. Uh, one kind of networking event we went to where we, we probably could have been a little more social. Um, but getting back out there, it's like we were talking about earlier, the work from home thing. It's breaking your shell, getting out of the bubble, and remember, remembering how enjoyable it is to go talk to people. And uh, I, I was excited to chat with people and tell them some things that have been going on in my life. And I didn't just because I was kind of holding back and, you know. Yeah. But I'm excited to get back out in the community a little more and, um, you know, be a local, which I am. And I've been here for well, I'm 35, 32 years. And uh, it's a long time. So I've always been excited about that. And I just I feel like I always stutter step getting back out and, and into the community. But now I feel like I have things to share. And it's kind of a different let's just go talk and if anyone wants to talk about mortgage, cool. And if you want to talk about something else, that's cool too. And I'm not maybe forcing the agenda like I was before. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And um, yeah, so it feels kind of good. It feels different now. And it's nice that we're working together because that brings a whole different energy to it as well. Yeah, I think the getting back into the social environment is a challenge for everybody, especially going th um, through the COVID phase. Um, it, that affected everyone, whether they admit it or not. It's different, and it makes you look at life differently and situations. But now things being more opened up and able to get out there and communicate one-on-one -on -one with people or in a small groups is, is really what we've all been missing and be able to meet with clients face-to-face. -face. Um, with all the technology, it's fantastic, but it's really nice um, to go face-to-face, -face. and it's really nice to attend the closings and see the client at, you're blocking, sorry, you're blocking your mic. Oh, at the finish line, you know, where, where it's really the most important part. Um, so you know that everything's worked out well. And that part has been real enjoyable here, that's for sure. Well, I'm, I'm used to this business, and maybe you go to a closing and you do talk to everybody. Um, but I had an experience getting a personal loan online, and it was issued, approved, like immediately no one called me, no one verified anything really. I mean, I uploaded some documents and whatever, but... I was like, oh, I almost felt like, oh, I didn't get a chance to say no. Like, I didn't get a chance to really think about this, and, you know, I'm a little impulsive and everything, but um, that was kind of a strange experience and having it be fully digital. It was nice, it was fast, really convenient, but it felt a little strange. Like, oh, hmm, that's weird. So I think there's a lot to be said for going to a closing or actually being able to meet somebody in person, which I really do like. I don't necessarily love the big group gatherings. That's where I feel a little, like, Maybe I'm going to shut down uh, socially, but in smaller groups or one-on-one, -on -one, I, I really like that. I, I think the closing is a, a very crucial piece, and be able to go there and know that everything worked out is great. And the technology is fantastic. I mean, there's lots of advancements they have here where I didn't have before about how to get docs out, get them reviewed, everything. And, but still, it comes back to basics. 
You know, it's, it's building a relationship, it's taking care of somebody, helping them get into their home, because that's our ultimate goal. And then um, hopefully they have a positive experience and share that with people and we do more business as, as becomes available. You know, it's just, it's having the confidence in your company is huge as well as yourself. And I've enjoyed that since I've been over here and um, hoping you get to enjoy that same experience I have. So we just had summer solstice. Each day now is gonna be getting a little shorter. So we'll have to be more and more efficient with our time so we can maximize daylight. But what do you have on deck for next week or the rest of the month? We're wrapping up June here and uh, getting ready for a big 4th of July barbecue action and a little relaxation there. But what are you, what's on deck? Well, trying to get my, my last two transactions closing next week, which um, is great. Just, it was a great month. Um, and just getting outside. This weather's going to be great. And, and utilize that because I think for a while there, we, we take it for granted. And then we get this rainstorm we had. And you realize, hey, it's not here every day. Get outside, enjoy it, enjoy your family. You know, if you happen to have a four-month-old granddaughter, you can visit her, you know, stuff like that. It's just, that's what I'm doing. And, you know, get the barbecue cranked up and get ready for the fourth, because that's right around the corner. That's right. Great. Well, it's fun to get a chance to sit down and kind of talk about things. A um, little review, a little look forward, and we can wrap it here. Yeah, definitely looking forward to the rest of this year. I think we have some challenges. We get tools to overcome them, and uh, I'm 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 just I'm kind of excited about it, and I'm glad to have you on board too. That's increased the opportunities. I think we can go achieve. Well, and I do have to give a quick shout out to the Evergreen onboarding team and Jana, especially because she did message me a couple of days ago asking how's it going, can I help you with anything? So I I have to uh, respond to that and tell her how it's going great, and we're just trying to generate some some more activity and help people and in the best way we can with good explanations and maybe some video stuff and um, utilizing the technology, but also going out there and telling people in person about it versus anything else. So, yeah, but that's a shout out to the Evergreen team that you guys have been really um, good and quick with onboarding and checking up on me um, to see how things are going. So I really do appreciate that. I do too. Let's keep it going forward. Okay. All right. All well, right. we'll talk to you next week. Sounds great. <laughs> I wanted to do a little behind the scenes footage. We just filmed our podcast here in the conference room. Look how blown out it is, but I had two lights combating the sun. So I tried to backlight us, see if we can stop down here. There's the view. Nice. Let's go check, 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 check it out. What, 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 what's it all about? An F-22, that's as far as she goes, boys. Yeah, I, I made that hazelnut. Hazelnut? Hazelnut? Oh, hazelnut. So how do you feel, Dad? We just did our first podcast, and I'm recording behind-the-scenes footage now for Lathrop Media channel. I feel like $999,999, almost a million bucks. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get him that extra dollar's worth of uh, self-worth up to a million bucks. Check in with you at the editing desk, and... We'll clip off this podcast real quick and post it, um, but it's pretty simple the way I had it set up. I just used two lavalier microphones on a stereo recording going straight into the camera, filmed it on the Canon R7 in C-Log3 with uncompressed audio recording. I'm still in C-Log3 right now at 15 millimeters. We filmed the podcast at 22 millimeters, f2.8. Uh, frame rate one over 30 and shutter speed of one over 60 or excuse me, frame rate was 30 frames per second. So I, I'm gonna try to do the 30 frames per second thing because most people's computers refresh at a 60 hertz, so, or 120. I'm trying to film at 24 frames per second for content that's gonna be largely viewed online or on mobile, I think that's a better idea. So anyways, that's what we're up to, and we'll see. I'm pretty excited about this podcast. I shot it with five stops with neutral density filter, and the exposure looks pretty good at the base ISO of 800 in C-Log3. So we should have a nice little dynamic range, good test for this camera. I actually also had auto level turned on as well. Uh, so the setup was pretty simple. Yeah, okay, well that's all part of the new effort. We'll sign off here. I'm gonna cruise home and, uh, and edit and then hang out with the family because it's Friday. Peace. <laughs>